guys, welcome back. I hope that you are okay. Uh, I'm just keeping the noise down because Hunter is asleep at the moment. So I haven't got him on camera. Um, I have got him on the monitor. I am just watching what he's up to. Um, so I hope that you've all had a really good week and that you're feeling on top of your game, that everything is neat for you. Um, I haven't really got any news for you this week. Um, in fact, I have no news for you this week. Hunter's got his jabs tomorrow, off to Baby Sensory now. Um, I told you about the bookings and how they all like got inundated last week within the hour. Um, I'm going to start taking April bookings um, at the end of March. Um, so do keep an eye out for when I'm retaking deposits for that so you don't miss your spot if you want a private reading with me. Um... I think that's it, really. <laughs> there is no news. I went out for a walk, beautiful walk the other day, really embraced that Imolk energies. Um, I don't know if you want to see it outside my window. Um, I live on like the side near the Peak District. Um, so when you look out, I don't know if you can see, you have the beautiful Albion energy kind of coming out of that and, and the clouds. And when I say on readings and things like that, when I'm looking and all the, the birds and the crows and the symbology flies past, um, I can see it out that window. Well, not this one because this is the bedroom, but I can see it out the other one. Um, so yeah, I went for a beautiful Imark walk. So snow, saw snowdrops, saw lots of flowers everywhere, things starting to blossom. One of my favourite times of the year, really like a time of fertility and um, where things are really starting to come into fruition, where we start preparing for the lambing seasons. Um, and Bridget, darling, darling Bridget, my my tribute goddess my main goddess um Bridget and Kerry are the two goddesses that pit me um but Bridget is the goddess of this time of year so it's a really really important time of year that speaks volumes to my heart um so I hope that you're all enjoying a little bit of sun sunrise and and the uh, lighter mornings the other thing that made me laugh is like you know the weather being all cutesy and last week it was trying to kill us in England it was so stormy um but that is England all over um so also got to show Hunter the Tarot this week actually that's a little bit of news for you got them all out, got them to see all the pictures, all the colours um, and in fact I'll put a video on that for you now uh, just so you can see him this week, hopefully next week he'll be more awake and I can show you him not through a monitor even though it looks like he's waking up. Alright guys, I love you to pieces, I'll speak to you soon, have a totally blessed week, enjoy the video, um, stay up, subscribe, see all the cards of the day, subscribe and that's your lot, love you, ciao! So just teaching Hunter the tarot, uh, showing him the tarot, he's had a good look through them. Uh, this is the deck that one of you lot got him actually, um, the Mystical Medley's tarot, really really great. Um, just before he was born this landed on our doorstep from one of you guys, so i um, been showing him these and he loves the pictures, don't you? <laughs> yeah, so page ones, that's his card. Wow, a uh, little baby, Sagittarius baby, the emperor, that's your daddy. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're getting, he's showing him the cards, he likes the pictures, page of pentacles, ooh. Okay, are you going to say hi to everyone? Yeah, there's a little wave going on there. Babe, so we'll see you next week. And I should be more awake by then. Shouldn't I? I should be more awake by next week. <coughs> oh, God, God, bless you. <laughs> so see you later. Bye, YouTube. I love you. Hi guys, welcome back. This week, what we are going to be doing is what would your person like to say to you? So as always, we work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. Go into all your energy, all your people's energy and pull out the strongest one between you all. A bit like how we worked out the average of mass at school. That's what we do uh, with the energetic pull of you all and your people. Okay, so deck number one and deck number two, go to the deck that you are most drawn to and as you get drawn to that deck, feel your emotions for your person, okay, and push them into the deck that you are most drawn to. They are different, even though they look quite similar on the back, they are different. Um, 
feel that energy going into the deck. If you can't feel it, visualise a green or a pink colour. And if you can't do that, just kind of sense the energy moving. Okay, sense the energy move forward. Okay, so let's do this. Deck number one. What would they like to say to you? To go into everyone's watchings energy. Everyone's watching. Is that how you frame it? Everyone that is watching's energy. And can you guys think about your person for me? Can we get into the collective energy of all the people? And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of all their people that pick deck number one. Beautiful. Well done, guys. That energy coming forward is really, really strong. So my guide is saying to simply pull six cards. I've also picked some oracle cards out and, and I do feel we're going to use them as well. So what would their person like to say to them, to those watching? What would their person like to say? One. Two. Three. Oops. Hand slip. The people on the road, um, they're digging up the road to put internet in, like a higher device internet, and Natalia keeps setting Poppy Dog off. Um, five, six, do you guys want to see her? Do you want to see if I can get her on camera? I'll give it a go. Popsy, come here. She's sitting out here. Oh, let's do it this way so you can. <laughs> Pops? Poppy? She's not gonna look, is she? Let me um let me move around like that. Oh the lighting. There she is. Hi, you say hi. Good girl. <laughs> the lighting, she's just uh the lighting couldn't get quite the right angle on it for me. Okay. So there's Poppy. She's very good. Um she's just having a good woof at the builders. As you do, you know. She's like, this is my road, this is my territory. I am gonna just woof at you like crazy um, until you bugger off. <laughs> you ever heard that about like dogs and postmen? Like the reason why they don't like the postman, why they bark so much and rip your post up, like madam, um, is because every day that the postman comes to the house, they think that by barking at him, barking at him, they're sending him away. So um so yeah, that's why they do it. So she's thinking like every day, she's doing a great job at sending the postman away because she's protecting the house. So cute, isn't it? What would they like to say to deck number one? Oh, that's great, isn't it? Big baby bump, that's it, jump on the floor. What would they like to say to those watching? So I'm gonna pull oracle cards for each one of these because that feels right. Four. We're going to read the tarot and we're going to read the oracle. So these, you know what I'm like for oracle, how I don't really massively like them unless they are something that is a little bit more out there. Now these cards are kind of out there. I'm not a big fan of the kind of dawning virtue, normal oracles. They just, they can be a little bit too generic, you know, like patience and love yourself first and all that kind of stuff. Whereas these um, are pretty, they're, they're ace. They're ace. I love the pictures on them. Uh, I love the colours of them. And um, and they're very intuitive as well. So what's the word say? They come through the cards. So the first two cards we have is we have the Queen of Swords and we have Deceptive. Okay. So what your person would like to say to you first and foremost is that they are seeing you in a very, very strong position. They are seeing an open line of communication between you both. So even if they're not talking at this moment in time, your person will start communicating with you in the near future. Now you can see that this woman has an arrow. Okay, so this arrow is pointing towards you. We also have at the very top, you probably can't see, but there's a bunch of stars hanging down. Now the star in tarot always talks about being on the right path. So your person would like to say to you first and foremost that they see you as a very, very strong individual and they're really, really drawn to that. They're really drawn to that power energy that you embody. They love that about you. 
they see that you are very in control of yourself you're very in control of your own energetic body like i said um and they have these very very strong pull towards you now the reason why deception is coming up is to do with your person's energy so sometimes they kind of fade into the background now this is why the frog is a bit cam well, it's not really camouflaged but spirit is saying camouflaged frog so you might feel that your person isn't watching you on social media or watching what you're up to or communicating with you whatever's happening you might feel that they've withdrawn from the situation with you guys at this moment in time it's a lie okay they are still seeing you in this energy they are watching what you're up to so the first thing they would say to you is, wow, you kick ass, you are a power energy, I'm really, really drawn to you, and I am still kind of seeing what you're up to, even if we're not talking. And if we are talking, and I've perhaps been a little bit like blasé, and a little bit here and a little bit there, it's because I, I don't really want to let you into my heart just yet, and the reason why is because I'm just denying myself these emotions, you know, I'm denying my feelings for you. We move on to the hanged man and ask yourself. So they would say to you, at this point in time, I'm debating what we should be doing about the situation, but I am doing some very deep soul searching. I'm looking into my more root chakra based energy. So the root chakra is all to do with stability and security. So they're going within themselves, really balancing that root chakra energy, thinking that through um, and feeling a little bit stuck because they're not coming up with answers over the situation with you. Ideally, Spirit is saying they'd like to make moves towards you, but they're stagnating that energy. And I'm actually just going to ask why. Why is their person stagnating the energy? Well, the next cards kind of answer that, but I just want to have a look. So you've got the Two of Cups and you've got the Five of Cups. So the reason why, part of the reason why your person is stagnating the energy is because they have these very strong feelings for you. They tell you that they love you. Um, and they also, you know, they've been hurt quite badly in the past. Perhaps situations with you guys um, has led to them being hurt. If it's not you, it's people from the past. But they felt very, very sad over situations. At the moment, if you guys aren't in communication or you've been through a breakup or it's been really, really difficult, they're just a little bit unsure about opening up old wounds. So they're not communicating right now. OK, or they're not giving you the movement that you want right now. And this is why the other thing that's happening over here, you've got nine of pentacles and uncertainty. So they're debating whether being single is the right choice for them, whether they want to be alone or whatever their individual circumstances is. They've got that uncertainty that comes from it. OK, so they do love you. They do have feelings for you. They're just a little bit uncertain about what it is that they want. And the reason why is because they've been hurt in the past, whether it's with you, whether it's with someone else. So they are going inside of themselves and reflecting on it all. In this little bit of downtime that we've kind of got going on over here, we have this shift in the energy. We have this focus of moving things forward. Everything is quite fast movement, uh, fast growing. And you know, literally on this card, you've kind of got this fungal energy coming up, right? And the fungal energy, we know how fast fungus grows. Um, this coming forward over here, your person making quite dramatic shifts in energy growing fast we've got the five of swords coming up over here your person again really drawing on this energy of being hurt in the past um they're a little bit frightened on where the situation can go with you both at the moment they're not quite ready to take those leaps of faith no matter how much they love you um again kind of coming back to a past betrayal and that's kind of festered a little bit within them and again this fast growing energy where they've been hurt in the past that energy's festered within them and, and festered is is the right word it's, it's quite a heavy heavy energy sorry acid reflux lovely Ugh. it's quite a heavy energy going on around them okay so shifting that energy out shifting that vibration out there is fast movement coming in from you, but equally at the same time, they've allowed stuff from their past to really sit in their energy and to um, affect them. To affect them. Um, where it's going with you guys, you've got the Knight of Swords, and you've got the Happy Rays, so you've got quick, fast movement coming in, and we know that over here, because we have fast growing energy. So your person will be making quite strong movements towards you there's that as well and the end you've got the emperor and songbird 
okay so if we start at the very very end over here i don't know how many of you love fleetwood mac as much as i do um but if you i think fleetwood mac sang the original songbird okay and the songbirds keep singing like they then know the score i love you i love you i love you like never before with the emperor energy coming over here this is your person's love for you so if we were going to summarize it as to what they would say for you what would they say to you at the moment they'd say that they're a little bit on guard they're waiting to see what happens they aren't allowing themselves to make massive amounts of movement towards you just yet and the reason is they've been hurt in the past what they are doing um they'd say that i'm thinking everything through at this moment in time and you might not be hearing from me just yet or it might feel like we're a bit stagnant at the moment um but i am having a period of reflection over what i want from the situation I'm uncertain about where my path is going at this moment in time. I'm a little bit uncertain about what I want. And the reason why I'm uncertain is because I've been hurt in the past um, and I have a very, very strong love for you. And through that very, very, very strong love, that also gives me this very, very, very strong fear. And the reason why I have this very strong fear is because of all the heavy stuff that went in the past. It's festered a little bit in my energy. I have a heavy energy when it comes to love because I don't want to get hurt again. Um, and I'm frightened. Ooh, you see that vulnerability that they would say to you? They would say that they are frightened over the situation. Now, with that fast growing energy equally moving to the next cards, they then say, but don't panic because I'm going to make quick movements towards you and I'm going to be extremely happy when I do. I do want to talk to you. I do want to see where our future is going and we'd be finishing off with Songbird. I love you. I love you. I love you like never before. So they'd say to you, please be patient with me. Give me a little bit of time. I will be making these moves towards you. I know I haven't had handled everything great i know that i've been very difficult spirit are saying uh, but please trust me when i say that i do love you they tell you that they haven't felt this way about anyone before spirit are also saying they tell you that these emotions that they have are real and raw and that is also what scares them because like we said when we look at that past energy and that fear of the past that raw energy that comes from that um scares them they're scared of getting hurt and this is why you're going to find maybe it's a little bit stagnant and not moving in the direction that you want or at the speed that you want. But with the right amount of energy and time, um, this situation can shift into your favour. And really, your parting message being Songbird, um, it's such a strong, strong message coming through these cards for you. Um, and with the Two of Cups as well, very, very strong love going on with you guys. I wouldn't be surprised in the majority of you if the stuff that from the past that keeps coming up is actually to do with the two of you. Um, whether you've got history or whether things were just a little bit, I don't know, raw with you guys in the past, whether you've argued, whether you've had towers, whatever your individual circumstances, there's like difficulties that come with it. But the love is really strong and the love remains and that is a song coming forward as well um now i'm not very good on the musicals that aren't mainstream but i'm sure love remains was from the second phantom of the opera i watched it once i thought it was terrible and i was like i'm never gonna watch it again but i'm sure <laughs> there is a song on there that says love remains okay um so do you know that they love you Okay, they do love you. They're just being a little bit difficult, being a bit complicated over the situation. And that is that number one. Okay, my loves, um, I will speak to you all soon. Lots of goddess blessings your way um, and take care of yourselves. Bye, my angels. Okay, angels, deck number two. So I'm actually going to use um, six tarot cards for you all. And I've got an oracle deck that I'm going to pull with it. Um, I was saying at the start of deck one, I don't normally like oracles that are... Um, a little bit generic you know um so the oracles that we use today are different uh, the first deck if you ever go back to deck number one it was strange lands oracle and for you guys we're using the fuzzy prism oracle okay so think about your person for me i'm going to do we're going to do a blended reading as we call it so the tarot and the oracle a blended reading if we're going to use a technical term. Okay, so can you tell me please, what would their person like to say to those watching? What would they like to say to those that are watching right now? What would they like to say? Ooh. These cards, I love them. I love these Wizards of Oz cards, but you can see like right at the bottom, 
what the, the um, wording is on it or, or what card it is. It's quite hard to see. I should probably go over them in black pen. How many times have I said that to you guys? Go over it in black pen. What would they like to say to those watching? Four. Can we get six again? I did six for deck number one, so we will do six for deck number two. What would they like to say? Five. Action popping in nicely at the end there. I like that. Right, let's use these. I never. I did use. I used to use these quite a lot on the channel, but I haven't used them for ages. So can I have a card? Your first card was the Empress. So can I have an Oracle card for the Empress about what they would like to say? Okay. What is judgment? Clarify for judgment and oracle for that. I like the back of these. Like I love, don't you love? I, I love the colour pink. Typical alley. Um love the colour pink. Then we have the page of wands, we have the nine of swords. Nine of swords clarified by cry. Um, can I have one for the Nine of Pentacles? Balance. And the Three of Wands. You know what I'm like for a creepy deck. I don't think you'll find these too creepy, to be fair. They're quite alien-esque. One for the Three of Wands. Oh, for God's sake. Why, when you have a massive third trimester pregnancy bump, ba-doom, do you have to throw cards on the floor? This is the question on everyone's mind. I question this like every day as I'm doing readings. Obviously, by the time you get this, our little boy has landed. Um, but at this moment in time, as I'm recording it for you, throwing cards on the floor is not the best thing to do with a big pregnancy bump. It's actually quite frustrating. Okay, so the first thing's coming up with you guys, what they would like to say to you. The Empress and share. Now the energy between this two cards that are coming up is a very water-based energy. Spirit are really showing me water, okay? Now water always stands for emotions. So your person is feeling very, very emotional about the situation between the two of you at the moment. The Empress talks about pregnancy, physical, Pregnancy, um, as in giving birth to dreams. You don't have to be a mother to be an empress because you can give birth to all sorts of energetic um, frequencies. And so with the two of you over here and your person, they would like to say to you that they see a future with you, that they see you in this very beautiful, passionate energy, very kind of maternal energy. Remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but we work with male and female energies when it comes to tarot. So this is a, a maternal instinct, okay? It doesn't mean gender, it means a maternal instinct. So you have this maternal instinct that they see and they are really, really drawn to that. There's a lot of um, greens and yellows in this card symbolising emotions and symbolising confidence. So they look at you as a very strong individual, they look at you as a very maternal individual and they look at you as someone that they could you know, potentially have a strong future with. Now with Cher coming up over here, one hand is yours, one hand is ours. You have the heart to symbolise love. You have the star to symbolise a future, the bright path moving forward. And you have a triangle to symbolise protection. So between you both over here, what they would like to say to you is that they do see a very, very strong future with you. They do see hope that this can work out. They do see the two of you bonding, connecting and growing with one another. They see you as a very confident individual and that is what they love about you. So that is the first thing they would say. That's cute, isn't it? That's cute. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever uh, astral travelled before. It's really interesting and I, and I, I know I said to you it's a bit of an alien deck. When I've astral travelled before, I went back in time and I saw these three lines on my wrist as a tattoo. Um, really interesting. Just throwing that in there for you guys. Okay, so the next cards we've got judgment and growth. 
Okay, so what's happening over here? What else they'd like to say to you? They've made a choice on the situation to grow with it. They'd like to see where this goes between you both. We have the sun energy at the top again, symbolizing the masculine energy. So this is kind of their choice. You guys have got choices over the situation, but in that energy, they would say to you, I've made a choice to see where the situation goes with us. I'd like to see what happens. So I can see a future. I'd like to see where this goes. You have the page of wands and you have learn. <laughs> They're so cool, aren't they? I love them. So over here, the next thing you've got, you've got this offer coming forward. Um, again, it's quite a creative offer. It's almost as if it's the start of a new journey for you guys. So they say to you that they are perhaps a little bit naive over the situation because their emotions are really taking hold of them. But they'd like to see, again, what happens with you, with you both. They'd like to grow with you. They'd like to enjoy the process with you and see where it ends up. So they're going to make an offer of you to a lot of, um, of this kind of passionate energy. So it could be a little bit more sexual, but equally at the same time, I don't actually feel that. Some of you guys, it probably will be sexual, but this is more about their passions for growth and development with the connection with you both. So what they'll learn along the way, they're looking forward to partaking in having this beautiful journey with you. Like that. Okay, so see a future. Made a choice to see it through. Let's see where it goes. I want to grow with this journey with you. I want to see where we end up. Let me put these in the right place. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my track when I keep recapping. So we had share to begin with, with the Empress. Then we had grow. Then we had learn. So the next cards over here, they say to you, I have got fears over the situation. You've got nine of swords and you've got cry. So I have got fears over the situation. Um, I am still going to go into this with you i am still going to bond this connection i still want to see where things go um i can be a little bit emotionally guarded on occasions but that's the only the side that i portray to you so that's the side i want you to um i don't want you to see so i often have a guard up but behind closed walls i do end up getting quite upset and it comes from a place of fear so I want to see what ha happens. I might sometimes back away a little bit if I feel a little bit emotionally vulnerable. But at the end of the day, I do want this to work out between us. I want to see what happens. So bear with me in my moments that are a little bit upsetting. If I upset you, just bear with me in, in that energy. Moving on to nine of pentacles and balanced. I am still going to need my free time. I am still going to need this time for myself. I've worked very hard to be the person that I am today. And so free time is really, really important to me. So if you think that I'm not spending enough time with you, uh, please just bear with me. Um, let's keep the communication open between us and we can flow this and grow this and see what happens. Um, potentially over here, you, you guys might feel that they're spending too much time with friends. Um, not family because they are quite family orientated, but this feels to be more time with friends. Um, that energy coming forward that you might get a little bit frustrated with them, uh, but they are aware of their actions with that as well. And then the last two over here, you've got the three of ones and you've got gratitude. And again, this really kind of coming forward that they are happy to go the full circle with you. They're going to take action on the relationship. They want to take action on the relationship and they're grateful that you are in their life. So over here you have, I'm really happy that we are exploring this pathway together. Um, let's see where it goes. Let's see what happens with us. Um, I am ready to take action. So all of your cards are heading in a really, really positive direction. All of your cards with you and your person are saying that the two of you are going to be progressing into a positive relationship. That your person has got these feelings of you and they want to share them. They want the relationship to grow and to blossom. And that's absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful i feel like i'm going to pull one more i wasn't going to but i feel for deck number two i do want to just pull one more um just to get you like an outcome what is the outcome of deck number two i've just called you deck number one then i do apologize what is the outcome of deck number two for them and their people the overall outcome I like them to fall because it's like spirit's influence on it. Ace of Swords, cutting away all the bullshit. 
I'll count the dot number two. Surrender and Ace of Swords, cutting away the bullshit, going with the flow of it, waiting to see what happens. Me, I love that. So your person, it looks like they are going to make really, really strong movement towards you, that they have these very, very strong feelings for you, that they want this relationship to develop and grow. And if they were going to say that to you, that is what they'd say. Um, but with these cards over here with the Nine of Swords and Cry, you might find that it's a little bit... Uh, not really communicating those emotions very well to you. Give them time, give them space. Um, they will shift and surrender. They'll bring it to you. And that is card deck number two. Okay, my beauties, I will speak to you super soon. Uh, totally take care of yourselves. Lots of goddess blessings your way. Um, and love from me, Bump, who is now a baby, and Poppy. Ciao, guys.